Well, partners, we're going to settle this the old-fashioned way. No, it's kids' town. We're going to use nacho cheese, of course. We don't want anybody to get hurt. That's better. Are you ready? I'm ready. Are you sure you want to do this? On three. What, wait, wait, what, what kind of gun you got? It looks kind of crazy. All I got here is my top gun 100. <laughs> Nacho cheese 3000. <laughs> <laughs> Ready to go.
Now, is this good not to have conviction? Is it good or bad? Bad. So let's say boo. Boo. It's bad to not stand up for what you believe in. They were bowing down to a gold statue. God wants you to stand up for what you believe in. Now, you guys, I'm going to need your help, okay? Because at the end of our story, we're going to teach Professor Caesar a lesson. All right? So I need you to learn something right here. Did you say, stand up for what you believe in? Stand up for what you believe in. One more time. Stand up for what you believe in. So when I ask you, conviction is, and you're going to say, standing up for what you believe in. Okay? So, this guy, the statue, everyone bowed down to it, except three boys. Only three boys didn't bow down to it. They stood up. So, baby, Adam, it's an awesome. Will you stand up? Everybody else, stay down. So, look around. Everyone else is bowing down to the statue. Only three boys stay standing up. And why did they stand up? Because they were standing up for their conviction. They stood up for what they believed in. And here's what they believed in. They believed in a God who created the world who would send his son Jesus to die for us. And that's why they didn't bow down. And here's what the boy said in Daniel. O king, we do not need to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God we serve is able to save us from it. And he will rescue us from your hand. But even if he does not, we want you to know, O king, that we will not serve your gods or worship the image of gold you have set up. The king was furious. He was angry. The king was extremely mad because they wouldn't bow down to his golden idol, his God, that he wanted everyone to bow down to. And so you know what he did? He threw them into the fiery furnace. Ooh, that's hot. That's hot. Your parents are pretty quick. Conviction is standing up for what you believe in. Let's try that one more time. Conviction is... Standing up for what you believe in. The three boys stood up for what they believed in. They believed in a God who created the world, who sent his son Jesus. And this king, he believed in a golden statue. That's what he believed in. The miracle happened when the boys were put into the fiery furnace. The king was watching through a little window. And what he saw in that window was four people. How many did he send in there? Three. There was four people, and that fourth person, when he saw him, the king demanded that the first be turned off and the boys be brought out. And when the three boys were brought out, he said, Why didn't you burn up? And they said to him, We told you, our God can save us from anything. And so the king demanded that everybody in the country didn't bow down to that statue anymore. He demanded that they worship the God of those three boys. Conviction is standing up for what you believe in. Now we need to talk to Professor Jerry, and I'm going to need your help. <laughs> Professor Caesar, I hope you learned a lesson today. That we don't stand up for what you believe in, the right things, bad things happen to you. And kids, I want you to know, I want you to know that even sometimes, Bad things, difficult things can happen when you stand up for what you believe in. Those three boys who got thrown into the fiery furnace, they had to stand up. There were consequences. So let's teach Professor Caesar a lesson. I want you to listen. Conviction is standing up for what you believe in. You know, can't like, I need some help. Can you help me? <laughs> oh yeah. We should we should probably pray. Let's pray. Father God, thank you so much for tonight. Thank you for three boys who stood up for what they believed in. God, we pray for our kids. Would our kids be given the conviction to stand up for what they believe in? In Jesus' name, amen. Thank <laughs> you.